What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode of my modeling Tesla series. This is where I model out my projection for Tesla's financials to try to get a better handle on the company. After the recent unveiling of the semi truck, the Roadster, and a tweet from Elon Musk about the pickup truck, which I just put out a video on, I thought it could be a lot of fun to update my model. We'll start out with some pictures, the fun part, the visuals, then we'll get right into the Excel spreadsheet and see what's up. Remember that there's always the link in the description to the spreadsheet if you wanna check that out. Anyway, let's get right into it. Welcome to Graph World, guys. This is probably the most important chart that I follow of Tesla's business, which is estimating how many actual cars they will deliver. Now, as you can see, I have this scaling pretty dramatically. I've mapped out all of the units from Model S through Model P all the way through the year 2024. As you can see, we only have 100,000 deliveries in 2017, or that's about what I'm estimating. It looks like Tesla will come in maybe a little bit over that. Then by 2019, in just two years, I am projecting that Tesla will cross 500,000 deliveries. This is why the company is losing so much money right now. They're investing heavily in the infrastructure to be able to build out and support building 500,000 plus cars per year. I mean, it is just gonna be an incredible ramp. Um, beyond that, I believe they could cross 1.4 million cars delivered in 2023, then over 1.6 million in 2024. To take a step back, this is kind of where we are at um, right now and where I'm assuming Tesla's revenue will ramp. As you can see, we are still in the very early stages of their growth curve if what I'm expecting pans out. We are only here with about 11 or 11 .5 billion in revenue expected in 2017. I'm projecting that over the next six to seven years, Tesla could 10X its revenue from 2017 to over $110 billion. And the reason why I put again here is because Tesla 10 x its revenue from 2010 to 2017, going from 117 million to about 11 and a half billion. Now we're gonna see that revenue 10 x again in six to seven years. I mean, this is one of the most impressive growth trajectories of any company that I can ever think of analyzing. Just to put things in context, you know, Amazon is doing about 200 billion in revenue this year. Google is doing a little, uh, Google is just crossing 100 billion. So I'm expecting that in six to seven years, Tesla will be the size that Apple, Google, Amazon are today. Now, if we go to the revenue breakdown, I actually think I may be a little bit conservative here. The only part that I'm really putting a lot of work into modeling is the car business. I do assume consistent growth in the energy revenue, but even so, you're seeing that it's only about 10% of Tesla's overall revenue is coming from energy. This is much lower than the company's guided. Elon Musk thinks the energy business could grow much faster than the car business and potentially be as big as the car business in a few years. We'll see if that happens, but I wanted to point out that I may be being very conservative with the energy revenue. Now we're in Excel world. So this is my operating model. You guys have seen it before. And before I said that I wanted to limit it to 2019 because I didn't think there was much you know, use in projecting numbers much further out than that. And while I still agree with that thesis, I thought it was important to kind of spread out the spreadsheet. Now that we have all these details on the semi truck, the Roadster, the Model Y, the Model P, the pickup truck. So I thought it would be great to kind of just map this out and see what, what I thought I could do kind of just for fun. Here's that energy revenue I talked about, which I think I'm being pretty conservative with. I have gross margin taking a hit this year with Model 3 ramping, still being low next year as they work out Model 3 production issues and then stabilizing around 25% for the long term. The energy business, I have around 25% too. It's important to note the energy business is actually trending closer to 28% um, through the first three quarters this year, so I wanted to be a little conservative there too. And then I have this linear extrapolation of SG&A and R&D that goes up kind of consistently and linearly. And this is the fun part about Tesla's business model, is that these two expenses here are linear. They are you know, they're going to build out stores incrementally. I think the sales of Tesla's cars are going to dramatically outpace their operating expenses in the next few years, even as soon as 2018. As you can see, I have positive operating income per share, operating income of 200 million in the green next year, if they can deliver as many Model 3s as I'm projecting. As you can see, this is on the back of 124% revenue growth. So 2018, if Tesla can ramp Model 3, is setting up to be an insane year. So now let's dive into the, what are the nitty gritty of the actual projections going into this. Just so you guys know, the link for this Google Drive so you can download it and check it out for yourself is in the description of this video. I kind of have a simple back of the napkin formula here where I take an 
average revenue per car times cars delivered to get automotive revenue. And the first, you know, the numbers for 2015 and 2016 are real. You know, this was the actual number of uh, t cars Tesla delivered. This was the average revenue per car. And this includes service, this includes leasing, this includes outright sales. It's just all of the automotive revenue kind of lumped together. The average revenue per car was seen to be going up in 2017. I think that's because there's a bigger shift to Model X, but that's gonna take a big hit in 2018 and then 2019 as the Model 3 becomes a bigger part of the sales mix. This is probably the part you guys are all been waiting for. I'm only expecting 3,000 units, Model 3 units sold in 2017. This would imply about 2,800, 2,500 deliveries in Q4. I think they've been ramping really quickly in the last weeks of the quarter, but still uh, Model 3 units sold only about 3,000. And I did put out a video that said that Wall Street was massively underestimating the demand for the Model 3 and the production. Um, I specifically called out Morgan Stanley for only saying Tesla would deliver about 2,000 Model 3s in 2017. I thought it was a joke. They ended up being almost exactly right and I was way wrong, so I wanted to connect, correct that. But important to note that this production seems to be scaling rapidly as we progress towards the end of the quarter. A ton of customers, you know, and normal people are announcing that they've gotten their car already. So this is really exciting. I think we're setting up for about 200,000 Model 3 deliveries in 2018, scaling to 400,000 in 2019, and then capping at about 500,000 units per year as sort of peak sales for Model 3. The other important factor to note there is that the Model Y, I have starting to sell in 2021. So that's part of the reason why I think Model three demand will kind of stall at 500,000 units as some of those buyers start to shift to the Model Y. But before we get to the Model Y, as you can see, I have my semi truck projections here, 500 units scaling to about 15,000 to 25,000, then capping out around 50,000 units in 2024. Remember, there's about 250,000 class eight semi trucks sold in the US each year. So this only assumes Tesla gets about 20 to 25% of the entire just US trucking market. So this could be a low ball. That's what I have for now. I made a whole nother video on the semi truck expectations if you want to check that out. Roadster, I have doing about 2,000 units per year in a normal run rate. You know, that's not going to be that much of a needle mover, although it will probably be very high margin. And the Roadster and the semi truck, as they ramp, is part of the reason they up the average revenue per car from 65 to 67. I mean, this could be totally wrong. This is a pretty guesstimate. I just thought it would be close, but um, if you guys have any comments, let me know. Model Y, I have scaling to about 500,000 units in 2023, very similar to the end demand of the Model 3. Although it's important to note this hatchback crossover market is actually bigger than the market the Model 3 competes in, so this could be a low ball. Then the pickup truck, which I have starting initial deliveries in 2022, then ramping to sort of peak sales of 500,000 units in 2024. You know, this leads to Tesla selling almost 1.7 million cars in 2024 total, generating about $113 billion in automotive revenue. Going back to this, I think this is such an exciting time to be analyzing and looking at Tesla. I think they are setting up for potentially 10 times growth from 2017 to 2024, if not even more. The bulk of this is just from the automotive business. I mean, the automotive business in six to seven years could be doing $100 billion in revenue at 25% gross margin. The aggregate gross profit of Tesla could easily be over 30 billion. And that's why I value Tesla like a growth stock. I think we're nowhere near seeing the mature version of Tesla's business model. You know, it's important to note that I don't think they're gonna stop here. I think we're gonna see a ton more products that are eventually gonna be unveiled, um, potentially a plane, potentially a, a cargo ship, potentially all different types of vehicles, you know, a, a bus, uh, a sort of delivery van. There's just so many different opportunities for Tesla to leverage their core battery expertise and software expertise to enter and disrupt a ton of different segments of the transportation industry. I still think we're in the very early innings of Tesla. If we get down to the profitability, you'll see that I have Tesla getting pretty profitable as they ramp Model 3 production very quickly. But then in 2021, I actually have revenue kind of stalling out. They're still gonna have that linear expense growth and that's why we're seeing profitability drop suddenly in 2021 before resuming its upward climb as the Model Y ramps. So I think that's gonna kind of be the cycle of Tesla is they sort of go through a cash crunch, burning a lot of money, as you can see they're doing with the Model 3 right before they ramp up production. This is to set up all the equipment to, you know, to hire the personnel to get everything ready for that vehicle. And then as they ramp and get that production going, then they're gonna start to throw off a ton of excess operating cash. I'll just wrap it up on this chart because I think this is the most important chart to track if you're analyzing Tesla, even though they're only delivering 100,000 cars today, is gonna almost quintuple in deliveries in the next two years, and then almost triple from there 
in 2023 to 1.4 million deliveries. Lastly, I do want to note that I could be totally underestimating Tesla here. And I, this is sort of my neutral case. So you could easily make, you know, a bear case and a bull case. But I think it's really important to note that the pickup truck, you know, could be selling a million units per year, even just taking about 30 to 35% of the US pickup truck market. That's not even assuming international. The Model Y could be doing a million units per year if it takes similar market share to the Model 3. The Model 3, who knows if the 500,000 back backlog is going to be an annual order rate or it'll be even higher than that. Remember the Model S only had about 20,000 pre-orders and is now selling 50. I'm projecting that will scale to 60,000 units per year. So pre-orders may be a lot smaller than the end annual demand for a vehicle. If that's the case, Model 3 sales could be a million or two units per year alone. So I just think, you know, this is important to map out why I think Tesla has so much exciting potential and upside despite the stock being so high and then worth 55 billion. The bottom line is in the long run, I just think we could see revenue 10x from here over the next six to seven years. It's going to be a monster growth story. And I don't think we're going to be seeing the end of Tesla's growth in 2024 either. I still think this will be a growth company that could grow 20 to 30% for years after that. That wraps it up. This is me modeling Tesla. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Would love to hear your feedback in the comments. This is Hyper Change. Peace.